I'm Dana, one of the owners of the social club. Um, what is romance? It's a good question. Romance can be sort of tricky. Um, when I was trying to decide what I think romance is, I decided to me it is um, a memorable experience with someone that I love. Here at the Social Club, we love creating experiences and we have lots of great products to help you do that. We carry lots of good quality kitchen wares. Those could help you make dinner at home and make it more special than just your normal dinner, whether it's tea towels or a really nice spatula or some quality salts or you know seasoning products. Um, we also have uh, produce our own in-house designed glassware um, and if you were to get a set of those and um, purchase some syrups and some barware accessories you could pour a cocktail at home which would be an amazing experience super fun um, also right now everyone's eating at home spending a lot of time at home so we've been lighting candles at the dinner table a lot sort of make it a little bit more exciting we have lots of really pretty candlesticks and we also pour our own in-house candles um, we pour them into one of our glasses that we produce so when you're done burning through your candle you can pop the glass out and drink out of it sort of a dual purpose gift there um, we're also getting ready to release two um, limited edition candles into our tall glasses here. We're super excited about those. Um, otherwise, we have puzzles that would be, they're beautiful puzzles, would be so fun to do at home um, with a loved one. We have things that would just be thoughtful and um, a great way to tell people you love them, like jewelry, uh, bath bombs, um, neck wraps, things to help people relax. But however you define romance, we hope that you're just taking a moment to tell someone you care, be thoughtful, um, and spend some time with them. Uh, we'd love to be a part of that, we'd be honored. What's going on everybody? This is uh, Chad Grubbs at Stitch Cafe in the plant shop, uh, located at 835 West Sheridan. Uh, romance, we got it all. We got plants, we got the ambiance where you can hang out. We sling what's called uh, hand tarts or homemade pop tarts. So everybody loves to share those and engage. Um, come on down, check us out. Hi, I'm Tim King. I'm one of the co-owners of OK Cider Co. located on Film Row. We're downtown on the corner of Lee and Sheridan, right next to the big Stephen Adams mirror on the back of the parking lot. What we've got for romance is the whole environment. We're going to start off with beer-inspired cider. So we've got people that are not fans of beer. Also, their partner's not a fan of wine. We're right in that middle. We've got something that's beer-centric. We've got something that's wine-centric and everything a little bit between. Uh, the other nice thing is we are gluten-free for those people in the community that can't have gluten. We've got a few spaces in the area where you can sit down, have a conversation on a couch, get to know your partner. Uh, the other great thing is we do not have TVs, so you're sort of forced to have a little bit of a conversation. Hi, my name is Irina Kendrick and I'm the owner and executive chef at Joey's Pizzeria located on the historical film road downtown Oklahoma City. We're going to be celebrating 10 year anniversary, April 1st. And what speaks to me when it comes to romance is Italian food. Our whole menu is romantic, but I specifically want to talk about our best seller pizza, Bianca Neve, that has Alfredo sauce, fresh spinach, smoked bacon, feta cheese, and fresh garlic, and it's topped with mozzarella cheese. And our other item that I would like to talk to you about is our organic stuffed collard greens. They're stuffed with beef and pork, uh, smoked bacon, veggies and rice, and it's slowly cooked for hours. It is gluten-free, so it really took off lately. So please come and see us, try these items, or much more. Hey, this is Graham Colton from the Jones Assembly. Uh, what do we have for romance? Well, we have a lot, I think. We designed this space to have a lot of different options for you to experience this gigantic place, but in small, intimate configurations. So we've got uh, indoor, outdoor, upstairs, downstairs. You know, you can really hide out here if you want to. You can come up to our cocktail lounge, the tea room, find yourself in a really cozy chair. We've got an outdoor patio that is now heated. So I think the coolest thing about the Jones and the most romantic thing is that we've got a lot of space for you to explore. So come see us. Hi, I am Chelsea Yan, and I'm the owner of Salt and Water Apothecary in Film Row in the heart of the Arts District in Oklahoma City. We are just off Sheridan and Lee. We are a wellness boutique carrying all kinds of things from body care to internal wellness and beauty. I pulled a couple of things to show you um, 
for a night of romance. So nothing quite says romance like a little pop of color on your lips, um, a little red, a little pink, and then setting the mood with a little incense from Blackbird. It smells absolutely amazing. And then we also have a few personal care items. So massage oil that is safe for even the most sensitive skin, um, an arousal oil, and then also some personal um, care oil from Agent Nature. And then to your skin, just extra silky smooth before date night, um, we have this heart chakra balance um, body scrub that is amazing in your bath followed by a little sparkly illuminizer. So have fun. Hey, my name is Ian Bennett and I'm here at the study. And what we have for romance here is this. Ooh, a room built just for two. If you'd like some wine or cheese, perfect place for two people to come and hang out. And you're isolated from everybody else, so it's super COVID friendly. And hello, hey, my name is Buck Buchanan. Welcome to Core 4 Brewing. We are in the downtown arts district inside Film Row, uh, right down here inside the Paramount building, uh, 7th and Lee. If you ever see the big Steven Adams mural on the side, that's where we are. Come in for some great craft beer. We have a great atmosphere. We're big into the live music and art scene. Uh, our hallways are full of local artists that we sell all their uh, art commission free. Uh, we have live music almost every weekend out in our uh, outdoor covered patio. So if you're gonna bring your lovely date in to see us, I would definitely recommend uh, going with something on our fruity side, like our mango goza. We can wrap that with a tahini rim and a lime, and it really stands out and uh, tastes delicious. We've always got something going on. Uh, there's an event nearly every weekend, so be sure you check us out, and follow us on all the social media accounts, and come and see us. Hello, I'm Gina with Chaley's on Film Row. We're here to talk about sweets for your loved ones on Valentine's Day. This is our white chocolate covered popcorn. It is a favorite of men, which always surprises me because it's kind of that salty sweet. But a lot, a lot, a lot of men really like this. This is our uh, strawberry with milkshake cookies, and they're dipped in white chocolate and they're covered in sprinkles. And the other one is a red velvet with a white chocolate dip, dipped. And then these are uh, stained glass cookies. They're supposed to look like stained glass windows because when you hold them up, you can see the light through them. Those are one of my favorites, just because I think they're pretty. This is our standard cupcakes. I make all the buttercream. We make everything from scratch here every day. So it changes every day. But for Valentine's, we'll consistently have pretty much this. Well, for Valentine's, we always have the chocolate covered strawberries because it's what people love. Just give us a call at uh, 600-7885 and we would be happy to help you. Usually uh, we have some of them on hand. We'd like 24 hours if you wanted a big order. But during the holidays, we'll have a lot of cookies on hand. Hi, my name is Tiffany McKnight and I am a local artist here in Oklahoma City. I am a pattern designer. I also do creative direction, graphic design, and I am also a muralist. And here you can see I am pictured in front of my mural titled Afro Violet for Plaza Walls in the Plaza District. I am the first black female artist to ever be booked for the Plaza Walls exhibition. And it is a great honor to be able to create a positive representation for not only myself, but also for other artists and aspiring black artists that are here in the region. This piece was inspired by the African violet, which is actually a real flower. It is very rare and is also purple. The flower specifically does not actually look exactly like the piece, 
but this is basically a hyper fantastical representation of the African violet, which is why the piece is titled Afro Violet. And this is my bloom, if you will, burst of color and my contribution to the Plaza Walls exhibition. I'm actually originally from Miami, Florida. I've lived in Oklahoma most of my life, but the time that I spent in Florida really impacted me and gave me a penchant for highly saturated and bright and bold colors. And so for this piece, I used about 10 to 13 different colors and found a fine balance between all the different brightness and hues and saturations of all of the colors and try to coalesce them into one unifying um, expression, a floral expression, if you will. And this is a symmetrical piece um, that also deals with the interplay of color. And I recommend that any person takes a look up close and also from afar to really take in the optics of the piece and really experience how it speaks to you. You know, you can be from any background and color still speaks to you. I also happen to be a science nerd and I love macro photography. I love biology. I love all of those things. Just the organic nature of the universe and nature highly inspires my drawing. Again, I'm just so honored to be able to make my mark and contribution to this district and I hope that I can serve as an inspiration for other young black artists that are out there that are looking to create your work and get it out there. I just say continue to keep going, continue to invest and believe in yourself and sooner or later you will manifest the things that you see for your vision and I'm a living testament of that and I just again I'm so grateful and thank you again for the opportunity. Hey, this is the first stop for OKC Black Restaurant Weeks. My name is Apollo Woods, founder and CEO of OKC Black Eats. Now, I'm excited about this one because we are here in the Arts District in Oklahoma City at Cafe 420, the Alkaline Plant-Based Stop. Not shop, stop. Why? Because you got to stop through here. So we're going to meet the owners and we're going to show some food, let them tell their story. Here's the magicians back here in the kitchen. See, they already got the swag going, y'all. So when, when you're a chef and your cooks and your food folks, when they're excited about their food, you know it's gotta be good. Oh yeah. All right, so here we have both of the owners here. We have Jermaine and Marquita. I'm gonna let them tell their story. We're gonna do some fun stuff today. What are we gonna do, y'all? We're gonna cook some good food, something we really enjoy doing. It's like when you come here, it's like coming to somebody's house and we're gonna cook for you. Okay. That's, that, that's the feel you okay. get when you come up in here. It's okay. like you, you came home, you can't take your shoes off, but you sure can come in here and eat. Yeah, no, we, we want to keep your shoes off. Yeah, you got to keep your shoes off because I don't want to smell your feet. You know, and I'm sure everybody, everybody's going to smell your feet. Okay. <laughs> now look, um, y'all came on the scene kind of right before COVID, into COVID, pushed through all of that. And y'all have really been like this, this blazing trendsetter on a new experience of plant-based food. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. how does that feel? It feels good. Yeah, it's gratifying. You yeah. know, it's yeah. gratifying. It's yeah. appreciated. It's you know, it's it's um, it, it's it's so many. It's filled with so many emotions, yeah. Apollo. That I can't. We we just can't really just give you it all at once. It's just I can just tell you that we're very grateful okay. for 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 sharing our experience with the people. Because um, that's what we're doing it for. We want to share what we did, and we want to and we want to give people what we've experienced, and, and to help them. Because some people want help, and some people just want to taste some good food. And that's yeah. what we want to give them. Okay. All right. All you know right. Now, these mush wings. The, first of all, the name, and then the idea. Okay. It 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 was created just us sitting in the bed talking. You know, because when you're in business, and when you're in business together as a couple, you should share. Yeah. You should share notes. You should compare, even if you agree or disagree. Right. And this was one of the moments when we were being creative okay. um, in the room, uh, or as far as in our business, you know. So that was something that we thought about. You know, well, let's 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 go with mushrooms. Because okay. at first it was just mushrooms, fried mushrooms. We were like, no, nah, let's let's make it a little, let's add a little twist to it. And so with that said, we used the mushrooms. We said, you know what, we want to create something that that gives you a uh, a feel of of uh, down home cooking. So let's make some wings, and we'll call them mush wings. So are we making mush wings today? We're making some mush wings today. I get some mush wings mm -hmm. today, y'all. All right, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna try to stay out of y'all way because uh, uh, 
I, I'm excited to, to try the wings. I've tried a couple things mm -hmm, before, mm -hmm. but I haven't tried the mush wings. So I'm gonna swing on this side. Okay. Watch y'all do your thing. And uh, yeah, show us what you do. Now, I'm, you don't have to give us all of the secrets. Oh no. Oh, no. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit inquisitive on flavors <laughs> and seasoning. Okay. All right, okay. so okay. I, I, I won't expose you too much. Okay. Right. We can talk about that off camera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, all right, mm -hmm. all right. So show us what you got here. What kind of mushrooms are these? these? Why did you choose those? And let's see what this looks like. Well, you know, this kind of dates back, uh, back with our kids. Uh, all of our recipes do. And so we went with oyster mushrooms, okay. which still give you the chicken texture. Mm -hmm. They're good for your brain activity. They okay. have high amounts of vitamins in there. Okay. Uh, it's known to reduce your, 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 your high blood pressure, systolic mm -hmm. and diastolic uh, blood pressure, both both of them and so you know we've always encouraged health so we've decided that this is the perfect food item okay. to present and give to the people that way they won't feel guilty or feel bad after they leave in fact we've had people come here and say you know what i checked my my blood pressure and my on my sugar levels and i thought they were going to spike because of your sweet and spicy right. sauce but it actually didn't okay. well see i think that to me that's what the beautiful part of it when i say like you guys are really like trailblazing how um, mm -hmm. plant-based food is consumed and even mm -hmm. used because you know, there are some um, some vegan recipes that are just not healthy, right? Right. So people think, as <laughs> you say, plant based or vegan, that it's just automatically healthy, mm -hmm. and then that's, that's not true. So I'm just I'm just relieved to know that there's intentionality behind your recipes, mm -hmm. and you're really doing this to to heal people through food. So I Absolutely. love that. So let's dive into these mushrooms. Let's. Ooh, I want to see it. Like I want to see it. I do want to taste it. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious to see how this <laughs> is gonna turn into some. Mush wings. Some, some mush wings. And another thing that we do, we when we do fry this, we fry it in grapeseed oil. Mm -hmm. okay. We don't use sunflower, canola oil, Crisco. Vegetable oil. Okay. Grape so what's the what's what makes grapeseed oil better to use in cooking for or for this or or just period? Do you, do you prefer do you all use grapeseed? oil versus other kinds or it just depends on what the dish is well where we get our grapes you oil from is derived from california um we've decided we was gonna we trust me we looked over and went different places and they don't sell it here in oklahoma and they do sell it but they sell not in the volume you need right so and then in this business you know we, that was another eye opener for us because you know you think you know most restaurants they just put grease in there and move right. on with a day well grapes you oil is not cheap so you know we had to go with something you know, even though it's higher, you know, we it, at the end of the day, this is great for the customers. Right. And we, it's body. better oil for your body. It's good for your outside, inside skin. It doesn't have a lot of saturated, it doesn't have any saturated fat in there. And it's it's gonna improve your health in, in anything. Gotcha. And, and it's so, an alkaline oil. Mm-hmm, it's, it's an alkaline oil. See, I didn't know that. And, and we do study Dr. Savy, so it is okay. a, it's considered a Dr. Savy oil. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can cook it in high heat over 500 degrees. We not only cook with with um, grapeseed oil, we also use avocado oil. Okay. We use sesame seed oil. Um, we do use olive oil, but we do not cook with it. Okay. Um, um, and that's just a whole other topic, but let's cook some food. That's what let's I go. want to cook let's right go. there. So one of the phrases in the main process, you know, it's just like cooking fried chicken or anything okay. fried. We're gonna double batter it. Okay. This is our this is our wet batter, seasoned season to perfection. Okay. Just like our just like our, our wet batter, everything that we do with season to perfection, it's not just one season. It's we put the whole So there's no egg in that. No no egg, no okay. milk, not even nut milk. It's just it's just straight. Go ahead. And it's spelt flour. Yeah. It's not white. Ah, it's not okay. Spelt flour. Mm -hmm. okay. You do have the option if you want to go with garbanzo bean flour. Okay. Um, we do have that option or or quinoa flour, but what we use so here. So customer can choose if they want a different flour because they may have an allergy or something. Or mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So they can we say, could you make it with this flour yep. if you have it instead? Yeah. We will customize yeah. anything for the customer because we realize you might have an onion allergy, you might have a tomato right. allergy. Just tell us so that you don't leave here and get home and your eyes off. So and that's good to know because I think a lot of people when they go out and dine, they're not sure if they can even ask for a substitute or replacement mm -hmm. because some restaurants you may go to, the answer is no, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You might want vegetables, cook with no butter, mm -hmm. but they'll say no because it's already been cooked. It's already, it's, it's not fresh ready to go, so. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. show me the process, man. Oh, so oh. it's just real easy. This is this is the, this is the best part, because we love right. doing this. We're either back here singing or dancing <laughs> or trading off. I want to make them, I want to make them, so yeah, it just depends. Yeah, we know y'all have a good time back yeah. behind <laughs> oh, yeah. over here. Oh yeah, so just like I said, wet batter it. I, I like to get it nice. I like to get it inside the gills. 
you know this is a this is it's a process you know and um, I always we always say when you're when you're doing this treat your mushrooms like a lady because you know mushrooms are delicate you don't want to mess up the <laughs> look at that. Look, look, we talking about cooking food here. Hey, right, well, right. you know. Hey, hey. Treat like a lady. Gentle. Gentle. So, That's what so I mean do by you that. Have, or do you, do, when you get the mushrooms, are you, do you prepare them before you get them? Is that something you do beforehand? No, this is fresh. Or they kind of come fresh like that. You might clean them, but other yeah. than that, they're just yeah. kind of... Clean them and cut them and yeah. put them in the sack. Okay. Yep, yep. Do all that. Upon order, these are already, you know, we already got them clean and what have you. Already got them okay. cut the way we want to. Um, mushrooms have personalities. Some are big, some are small. So sometimes they might vary in size. You might come here one day, they might be big. You might come here the other day, they might be small. Right. We get them how we get them. Um, but we're not gonna just take any produce. Okay. But mushrooms, like I said, mushrooms have a personality. Okay. And we treat them as such. And so, so the I guess what I'm surprised about is it looks like the consistency of the batter. Mm -hmm. Like it, it looks pretty like, thick. Like buttermilk. Right? Yeah, okay. like, like buttermilk. And there's no... Uh, there's no milk, right? Yeah, no, 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 no form of milk. No milk. Uh, no uh, nut milk. No mm -hmm. nothing like mm -hmm. that. And all these, all these specks you see in here, those are all nature, milk. alkaline spur, uh, uh, um, herbs. Okay. So we, we know we put a lot of love in this food. It took us a long time to come up with this mix right here. Yeah. Um, if you have a nut allergy, you rest assured you can come in here, and will not get no nut problems. Gotcha. There's nothing is no issues with any nut stuff is in here. Nothing. Okay. So you're good on that. So after we get through saturating so is this, these, is this about the size for a, 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 for one order? Uh, well, since y'all here, I'm gonna give y'all a couple. Of okay, extra. okay, you know I what I'm saying? Because I know I, I the hookup. You know what I'm saying? I, I make you some more after okay. this too. Um, but normally we have a six piece and we have a twelve piece. Okay. Um, and um, we have we have right now we have two sauces, and we have many more. But when you're in the alkaline business, when you're just in this business period and you cook things, yeah. All the way from our sauces, mm -hmm. our housemade, we make them either the night of or on the weekend before we close. Um, everything we make in here is homemade. Gotcha. We don't buy at the store. I just want the customer to experience everything the right way. Um, and sometimes it gets busy in here where we can't do that, but dress is sure, the food is gonna be the same way because again, we put the love in the food. If it takes a long time, now you're seeing why, because we really take our time making this food for the people. Um, well, I will it, say that my wait time when I've ordered food here, it's not long. Mm, mm. I mean, it used I'm, to be. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> no, no, I think, <laughs> I think that's any restaurant. Like when you yeah. kind of open to get in a groove, your wait yeah. time is, but mm -hmm. I would say even then, I'm like, it's actually the wait time, I'm like, it's actually not that bad. Especially when you know, the food is being prepped, it's, been, it's made to order. The wait times weren't that bad. Okay, this is, I've, I've never seen this part before where mm -hmm. people have a basket set up and the extra flat like this. Mm -hmm. I've not seen that before because <laughs> most folks are like, it's dipped and battered, put in a basket, and it's dropping. Well, mm -hmm. that's because we buy grapeseed oil that's more expensive than that. Shoe, oil. yeah. This, so yeah. We try, to, we try to keep our grapeseed oil good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because so. if you saw the price of it, then you'll probably think about, okay, yeah, I would no, be I making sure I'm good I'm, too. I'm, I'm, no, I believe you. Yeah. So after that, honey, will you give me those, uh, those burrow fries out of that? Sure will. That's another thing. They're in that. They're in that bowl right there. Right there, baby. Right. Open it up. Right there. Top. Yeah. 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 So we don't use French fries. We use what you call burrow fries, which okay. do not have any starch in it. Full of full high amounts of potassium, high amounts of vitamin C, vitamin B. Well, the first time I had them, mm -hmm. these fries here. In my mind, I'm thinking it was regular French fries. <laughs> It looked like regular French yep, fries. Yep. But I was like, oh, it's different. And so when I left, I didn't feel like like slow or tired. I was like, I walked down to the city hall. I was hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, I'm hungry and my body is moving. So I need to do something. Yeah. Okay, so. So after that, just like just like any other restaurant, you're yeah. frying food, except we're doing plant-based okay. and we're, we're gonna take care of your health. So just like that, look, oh, look at that. Oh, I just get so excited when I when I do this because I know that you're about to get some good stuff here in a little bit, right? So we're gonna let that fry a little bit. So you need nice and crispy, nice and crispy mushrooms. And once you eat on them, you're gonna, you're gonna think you're eating on some chicken or something. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? And so just like Wingstop or any, hey, I hate to drop name drop, but just like sometimes it feels like we work in a, in a, in a Wingstop because these are so 
freaking popular that, you know, we want people to come here and really enjoy all the food, but you know, so we gotta have our fried that's food. Buffalo hot. Yeah, that's, that's okay. our buffalo hot sauce right there. One of my favorite dishes, we do. And we have so many others to choose, but we figured we'd go with this one first. We got, and both of these are on the menu. Yeah, both of these on the menu. We got more sauces that we're, we're coming up with. Okay. okay. We do, yeah, we do have so a- So let's say I, I was like, you know what? I want, I want, I want this sauce at home. So can I, if I, I, can I buy a bottle of it? Yes, you can. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we got this sauce. We also have, a, our, our hemp ranch is very, very popular. A lot of people yeah, like our hemp ranch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the most. That's the that Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then what I like to do is I like to add a little bit more fire to y'all because people like it hot. You want it hot? I got you hot. I got you on the hot. Y'all yeah, remember the first time I had that? I was like, oh, this is cool. This is like I didn't. It's like some. I thought it was like <laughs> some cayenne like, pepper. I th no, I thought it was like all seasoning. Oh, you know what I'm yeah. Oh, you, you got know? a good waking up. So. <laughs> I hit, I hit it hard on the fries, and I was like, "Wait a minute, that is not that's not Zatarain." Mm -mm. That's not enough. That what that is is, is African bird pepper. It's very very spicy, kind of hot. Some people yeah. might say, "Well, I, we always say it's the the uh, the big brother and sister to cayenne right. pepper." Um, it's very healing if you have if you have um, intestine problems, digestive issues, ulcers. Yeah. This is what you need to help relieve that. Yeah. It helps assist with that relief. Hey, I had a blast with Jermaine and Marquita showing us how to make these amazing mush wings. Um, learn more about their story. Support them in the Arts District right here at 4th North Walker, right outside of downtown Oklahoma City. And I'm gonna get into these wings. Thank you for watching this episode of Uncovering Oklahoma. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it. For 2021, I'm releasing episodes in a monthly format, so be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when the next episode is released in March. Shout out to my superstar supporters, the Lynn Keller Kett family, and thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. If you love what I'm doing, be sure to join me on Patreon for extra content, like a bonus interview with Tim King at OK Cider Company and the uncut interview session at Cafe 420. So, until next time, happy adventures.